We really want artists to stay in that flow state, stay in the zone. Um, what that means is removing technical blocks wherever we can, whether you're in visual effects or film or games or design biz. And so Max really has to be kind of a, a jack of all trades, but also master of all trades because it serves so many different uses. Some of the features that have been developed coming into this release and going into the future, it's all about modeling asset build is a big key area of Max. One of the main new features that modelers are gonna find is the Boolean modifier. So we've spent a pretty significant amount of time uh, revising the Boolean workflow inside of Max. So we really wanna like have artists trust Booleans and use Booleans in Max to feel empowered to be creative, regardless if you're using it to ideate on the very early stages or if you're using it to do some last minute mesh and model revisions on the very end. Modeling artists want to focus on the shape and form, and we want to provide tools that kind of allow them to just move seamlessly in that kind of creative state. Some of the newer ones that have come out that are kind of notable are things like the array modifier, which allows for procedural distribution of mesh data in a grid or a radial pattern, or they can use it from a spline distribution, distributing on a surface. Ideally, an artist doesn't have to think about complex things like topology, unless they want to. We want to provide that ability, but they really want to focus on building something in a creative way in the moment. We want them to be empowered. We want them to be uh, you know, creative and expressive. We want them to like really succeed without necessarily needing to know things like, you know, what's, what's the math? The vision for 3ds Max is that we keep building best in class tools for artists' work today. But at the same time, we need to keep developing uh, technology for the modern workflows that are to come. The color management is finally in, in 3ds Max. And so that's been a, a, a big effort from on the Mac side, but also uh, so that uh, uh, Arnold takes advantage of it and is, is really integrated. Color management is not just about ingesting and displaying precisely colors. It also affects the way images are rendered uh, because, of, because of the wider gamut, the, the, the images are more uh, vivid, uh, uh, have more dynamic range. That is really Max's strength is its plug-and-play tool. It's a, it's a product that you don't have to customize, you don't have to have scripting knowledge, you don't have to have programming knowledge, you can just grab it and start being productive right away. You know, if an artist has to uh, kind of get down in the weeds, they're going to end up losing their kind of creative focus. So we're really focusing on workflow for Max and the vision is kind of advancing it so that you have that seamless, fluid experience, whether you're uh, modeling or lighting and rendering, um, or animating.